Dear students, in this video, we will see about complex exponential signal. The properties of complex exponential signal, what is a general complex exponential signal, and what is a real exponential signal. With graph, we will see. Okay, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for future upload notification. So, what is a complex exponential signal? A complex exponential signal is denoted by x of t equal to if this is the complex exponential signal what will be the expression it is e to the power z omega naught t so using euler's formula so x of t is equal to e to the power z omega naught t so we can write it as cos of omega naught t plus z sine of omega naught t here we can say that this is real part okay this is real part and this sign of omega naught t this is imaginary part so cos of omega naught t is real part and sign of omega naught t is the imaginary part now let us see the property of this complex exponential signal so what is the property so it is a periodic signal with period t0 equal to twice pi by omega naught so it is a periodic signal with a period t naught is equal to twice pi by omega naught. So this is the period t naught. Okay, t naught is equal to twice pi by omega naught. So how we got this? So we know that the angular frequency omega naught we can write it as twice pi f naught. Okay, this is the frequency f naught. Again we can rewrite it as twice pi. And frequency we can write it as 1 by time period okay 1 by t naught so we got this twice pi by t naught so from this we can get t naught is equal to twice pi by omega naught okay so from this angular frequency term we got this time period twice pi by omega naught so this is the property of complex exponential signal so this is a periodic signal with period equal to twice pi by omega naught now let us see what is the general complex exponential signal. So now we will see what is the general complex exponential signal. So here we will assume let s is equal to sigma plus j omega. So this is a complex notation b a complex number. We have assumed that s equal to sigma plus j omega b a complex number. So we will define x of t as therefore we can define x of t as it is a complex exponential signal so we'll write e to the power s t equal to so we have to replace this s with this sigma plus j omega okay e to the power sigma plus j omega all into t now we can again rewrite this as e to the power sigma t into e to the power j omega T. okay so because these they are in addition so we have to multiply the exponential terms so from this we can write it as x of t equal to so from here if we take this outside e to the power sigma t and if we again decompose this one using euler's formula so what we can write it is cos of omega t plus z sine of omega t so this is general complex exponential signal and its real part is so what will be the real part that is the part without this z term okay therefore real part we can write it as e to the power sigma t cos of omega t and imaginary part what will be the imaginary part e to the power sigma t into sine of omega t e to the power sigma t into sine of omega t now we have to see if it is exponentially increasing or decreasing so if sigma greater than zero then it is exponentially increasing if sigma less than zero so it is exponentially decreasing if sigma less greater than 0, then it is exponentially increasing. If sigma less than 0, it is exponentially decreasing. Now, let us see it graphically. So, we will see for both the cases. 
so when sigma is less than zero and when sigma is greater than zero suppose this one is t okay here we'll have this is x of t this is the x of t function if sigma is greater than zero it will be exponentially increasing here we'll have a sinusoidal signal because it is a function of cos and sine okay so it will be a sinusoidal signal so this is exponentially increasing when sigma greater than zero so this is sigma greater than zero curve now when sigma is less than zero what will be the curve look like this is x of t so here we'll have a decaying signal in this way you have to draw this so this is again a sinusoid this is sigma less than zero okay so here we have seen the exponentially increasing and exponentially decreasing so this is also known as it is growing exponential signal and this is known as decaying exponential signal okay now let us see what is the real exponential signal a real exponential signal does not have a imaginary part so here s equal to sigma only there is no j omega term therefore we can write x of t is equal to e to the power sigma t if sigma is greater than zero so what will be the case it is growing exponential signal now when sigma is less than zero it is a decaying exponential signal decaying means its amplitude is decreasing okay now let us see it graphically here we'll have suppose the growing exponential signal so here we'll have the t and here we have x of t so x of t is e to the power sigma t if sigma is greater than zero if sigma is greater than zero what we'll have we'll have a growing exponential signal so this is the growing exponential curve for sigma greater than zero this graph is for sigma less than zero okay so this is a decaying exponential curve for this graph we have sigma greater than zero and for this graph sigma is less than zero so in this video we have seen what is the complex exponential signal then we have seen some properties okay that is it is periodic with a period of t zero equal to twice pi by omega naught then we have seen general complex exponential signal after that we have seen what is decaying exponential signal what is building exponential signal or growing exponential signal then we have seen the real exponential signal where there is no imaginary part only the sigma part is there and we have seen this growing exponential signal and we have seen this decaying exponential signal thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you